Minister Lavrov has really been holding the line to is said, if we're following the rule of law, if we're going to follow the rule of law, the Golan Heights remain as they are. They don't go into Israel's hands. But, you know, uh, Israel's idea is if you occupy it, it's yours. You know, uh, you move into it, it's yours. But the rule of law, if we're, if we're going to follow the rule of law, that same rule of law that created Israel the state of Israel, then that same rule of law says that you can't just walk into another person's territory and claim it as your own. And, uh, of course, Russia is saying you got to follow the rules here. So the issue in the Middle East, all right, so let's, let's just forget whether the new United Nations in 1948 could legitimately take land from the Palestinian Arabs and give it to European Jews, because that's really what it's all about. Right. There were Jews in Europe who said, we want to move to Palestine and start a country although the Jews in Europe had no proof of their families being in Palestine for at least the last thousand years, okay? So that was the issue. And so after World War II, because of the, the Holocaust, the world's opinion was, let's give, them, let's give them a state in Palestine. So the United Nations created the state of Israel. Right now, whether you can argue whether the U.N. had the authority to do that, because you had to take land from somebody. Right. Somebody had to leave their land to allow these people to, to move in from Europe and have their country. So forget that. Just take that off the, the, the table. So the state of Israel was created by a United Nations resolution. But that resolution drew the boundaries of the state of Israel. Yes. And. It also said that there shall be a, an independent Palestinian state. Right. So Israel came into existence, but the Palestinian state never came into existence. Then in 1967, the Israelis seized the West Bank mm -hmm. and Gaza and have an East Jerusalem and have occupied it with military force. Uh, they have uh, stolen the land from the Palestinian people. They've built houses and, and military outposts and, and, and walls and fences. And the same UN that, you know, made the charter for Israel to become a nation is also the same UN says you got to give that back. But the UN has, that's just it. The UN won't tell them to give it back. Right. What is it that Israel has this power to occupy the land by force and nobody, well, we all know what it is. The U.S. vetoes any resolution right. that would put the U.N. on record as saying Israel has to give the land back. That's what it's all about. So whatever this peace plan is that President Trump is going to unveil, I guarantee you it was written by Benjamin Netanyahu. Right. I promise you that Jared Kushner never talked with Mahmoud Abbas of the Palestinian Authority. He never talked with uh, King Abdullah of Jordan. He only communicated with Benjamin Netanyahu. Jared Kushner is building, is, help, is financially involved in building houses in the West Bank on Palestinian land. Yes. He's not going to give it back. So whatever plan they unveil, it is going to be totally pro-Israel. And my guess is Benjamin Netanyahu will cry fake, you know, alligator, crocodile tears and pretend that he's against it and, oh, I can't live with this and, oh, this is horrible. 